Hey YouTube, it's Everything for iPod here. I'm Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to do a pretty cool trick on the login screen of Mac OS X. Right here, you see something you normally don't see. It says, please enter your name and password. That's what I typed in there. You can type in anything you want there. I'm going to show you how to get any custom text right there above your login screen. Anything you want. I'll show you how to do it. Um, one thing I'm going to say, I'm going to be switching off a lot between the camera and the... Um, screen recorder so sorry if this video gets a little bit like uh, annoying I guess you could say but there is no way to screen record or screen capture um, in the actual login screen so what you have to do to start off is go ahead and, not, and log in normally so um, I'm just gonna log in and switch to my screen recorder alright hey guys um... I am now on my screen recorder. So once you are on your computer logged in normally, you are going to open Terminal, which is the coding application that comes with your Mac, allows you to enter code. Um, you can find it in the Applications folder under Utilities. What you're going to do is type in this code. I do use Terminal a lot in a lot of my videos. I'm trying to make like a Terminal series kind of, because there are tons of things you can do with Terminal. So here's one of them what I had showed before, um, you're going to put the message, so you're going to type in this code, the code will be in the description, so yeah, make sure you type it in exactly as it, I do it, um, it is case sensitive and you don't really want to do it wrong, so make sure you double check it, but you're going to type in sudo space defaults space right space slash library with library with a capital L slash preferences with a capital P slash com dot apple dot login window space capital L login window same word, capital T, text, space, quotes, and then inside of the quotes you're going to put whatever you want it to say. So I'm going to say, welcome to everything for iPod, end quote. Okay, once you have that done, you're just going to press enter. Make sure you double check it and make sure it is correct. That's what I'm doing right now as I'm talking. Okay, um, the code will be in the description again, so you can check that out. Um, and see what it says in the description, written out. Once you have it, you're going to press enter or return. And sometimes it will ask you for your password and sometimes it won't. If it does ask you for your password, just type it. No text will actually appear, but once you type it, you're just gonna press enter. It didn't ask me that time. Okay, once you have that, you can actually just quit out of the terminal application, and I am going to actually stop the screen record right now and um, log out of my computer. So let's go to the camera. Alright guys, now that we did all the terminal commands, now I switch back to the camera. Now all you're going to have to do is log off your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I logged off of the computer, and now it says, hold on, now it says right there, welcome to everything for iPod, that was the command I entered into terminal. So that's how you do it guys, um, that's how you put custom text in, if that's all you wanted to do, then you're done with the video, however, I am going to show you now how to reverse it, how to get that off if you don't like it or if later you decide you don't want it so yeah I'm gonna show you how to do that part now so basically you're just gonna log into your computer as you normally would 
I'm going to go ahead and do that and then switch back to my screen recording. Again, sorry about the switching back and forth of everything. All right, so we're back on the computer. Now to get that text off of your login screen, if you want to reverse it or whatever, it doesn't have to be right away after you enter it either. You can do this a year later after you enter the thing in and take it off. Um, basically, what you're going to do is open terminal. And you're going to enter this code in. It's the same code as before, except at the end, the quotes are going to be empty. So it's just going to be quote and then another quote without any spaces in between. That code, just in case you guys don't didn't understand that, will be in the description. But let's go ahead and type this in real fast. So it's going to be um, sudo space defaults space write space slash library slash preferences slash com dot apple dot login window space login window text space quote quote Alright, once you have that, you're just going to press enter, and this time it did ask me for my password, so like I said, you're going to enter your password in, but it's not actually going to appear on the screen once you entered it in, you're just going to hit enter. I hit enter, and there we go, it should be off of my login screen now, so that's how you do it guys, it's pretty simple, just follow the directions, make sure you type it exact, that's really the only advice I have. But um, check out all of our other videos, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. We have some really great ones out there. And tell me if you like the um, terminal command videos. I am just starting to get into them more. I want to start making a lot of videos about terminal. I think it's a great application. Very simple, but lets you do really advanced stuff. Um, for example, I am going to be making a video soon. Um, like I have this gradient behind my application stack now, which is pretty cool. Um, which you don't normally have, and these also highlight blue. So, um, yeah, so just check out our other videos. There will be more to come. See you guys.